Hello everyone. Uh, I wanted to do a new video uh, showcasing uh, the extruder that I'm working on. It's a dual pellet extruder. Um, so I show in a previous video how it's assembled and uh, how I was working on uh, making this uh, tubing where the uh, drill bit goes inside and I finally received the two pieces uh, let me put it on the side this guy and here are the two pieces one and two so basically uh, the, the drill bit will go inside here the the, radi the diameter is 20 millimeters and um, it's stainless steel this will be attached to here this is a motor mount but I, I'm going to be using for uh, this application too and it works pretty well and um, on this other side there is a, an M7 uh, hole where I can screw in the nozzle and the nozzle I will be using probably uh, greater than one millimeter, probably up to 1.5 millimeter. And here there is a hole for the uh, thermistor to measure temperature. And how I'm going to uh, heat the pellet, uh, so the pellet goes pushed in here by the drill bit. Uh, how I'm going to heat, I showcased last time with this induction heating coil. So right now I just have this one to uh, showcase. I bought some new uh, copper wire uh, to uh, experiment with the size of the uh, wiring and the length of the wiring. Uh, I also bought uh, the uh, induction heating uh, electronics that uh, will be used for this guy and I also you, uh, bought two new MOSFETs with a higher amperage I think it's around 30 amps each and I also bought a dedicated uh, power supply up to 24 volts and uh, um, 1000 watts uh, so it's a pretty strong uh, power supply and so that's how I'm going to assemble the the tubing um, that's a mess to do I wanted to uh, mount everything but then it was going to be difficult to showcase him uh, how the different pieces go together. So basically I have a motor. Uh, this uh, motor is a NEMA 17 5 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, drill bit attached to the motor goes inside goes inside uh, this hole and the drill bit goes inside the tubing like that all the way and it will stick out for like two, three centimeter, something like that, where uh, I'm going to be fitting the tubing. This will be like that. I'm going to be fitting the tube with pellets up, up here. And um, this will push the pellets inside the tubing and all the way to the nozzle heated by this heating, uh, induction heating. So that's how it's going to work. Uh, I already tested on the previous uh, dual pellet extruder that I've done, but in that case the drill bit was a normal uh, wood uh, drill bit and um, basically you rely on uh, on gravity to, to pull the, the 
pallet inside the tube, right? Because there is no the, the drill bit doesn't give any pressure to the melted pallet to, to the melted uh, material. Instead, with this type of of uh, drill bit, if you see, you can tell maybe. Let me see if I can tell. You see here is it's deeper towards the beginning of the drill bit. It's deeper the section while it, it gets um, uh, larger and larger until the tip. So he, if you see here, it's probably a millimeter, and here up here is like three, three, four millimeter. So while this guy is turning, uh, let me. While this guy is turning, it will push the mel melted pellet down, and it will increase the pressure uh, of the melted material towards the uh, towards the nozzle. And um, also, I made this guy that inside is not flat, but it has like an angle. So when the when the uh, melted material go, goes towards the end, is pushed towards the nozzle. Let's see if this will work. Um, supposedly, it should work fine. Uh, the The key here now is to melt uh, the material with this induction heating uh, system. Um, so these are the pieces. They are dual pallet because I have the 3D printer will be very big and I'm printing uh, I'm printing uh, carbon fiber pallets so I need one for support and one for the carbon fiber pallets now I am looking at the carbon fiber pallets that are uh, the pallets are longer of uh, about six, seven, or eight, even uh, ten millimeter. So the fiber is much longer than the normal pallets, which are two or three millimeter. Um, and that will help me to make stronger uh, pieces. Uh, so for now, that's it. Uh, next video I'll be probably uh, integrating all this and ex start to experiment with the induction heating uh, to see if uh, the new uh, devices uh, are, uh, are going to work. Okay, and, um, and that's it. So if you have any questions please uh, leave a message uh, in the comments and um, please share the video subscribe to the channel and put a like and thank you very much and i'll see you on next video bye bye